Hey guys. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi, How teacher. are you doing? Hi, teacher. Fine. Fine. Hi. How was the weekend? The weekend was good. Was good. Resting in the house. <laughs> hey, the quarantine has been lifted, right? Yes. Yesterday. Yeah, how is the how is everything? Are people going out? Is it the same? What do you think? Mm, most people, people are going maybe now. tomorrow. Yeah, okay. but more people are out in this weekend. Uh, I saw more business that are opened and the people more people on the street and well that's what I see. <laughs> that's what I've observed, you could have said. All right, great. And uh, let's see what happens, right? I hope you stay safe, guys. That's uh, the most important thing. Marcela, I didn't see you on Thursday, Marcela. <laughs> no, it's um I connect when I have the opportunity to, to connect, no, in a specific day. Ah, uh, yeah, I think you told me, right, that you can only uh, join us twice or something. I think yes. Okay, well, welcome everyone. JC, JC, I see you. Hi. <laughs> Hi, where have you been? Okay, right. um, so we're going to start practicing or studying actually in direct questions, okay? I think we didn't watch the video last class, so we'll do that right now. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we actually did. We practiced statements, right? And I said we were going to do the last three today. So imperatives, how are we going to do that? Can you read the example with the imperative form? Let me see who. Glenda? This is the indication? No, just this, the, the imperative example. Oh, okay. Imperative. Jeff, don't be late. And the reg request using infinitives. Can you tell Jeff not to be late? Very good. That is what we're going to practice right now. So we have... One second. We're going to practice imperative, but in the indirect form. So if I say, uh, Sean, bring my book. All right, and the message is going to be, can you tell, we're gonna say tell, all right? Who are we gonna tell? Sean. Sean. And what are we going to tell Sean? To bring my book. Right, to bring my book. That's good. So we're going to say to bring my book. Um, so the imperative form is very simple because you simply have to use the, the infinitive. Okay, this is going to be infinitive. So you don't need to change the verb. You don't need to do anything. Now, my question is, what if it's negative? What if I say, Sean, don't bring my book because I won't go to class or something, right? What would you say? Can you tell Sean not to bring my book? Awesome, okay. We don't say don't, we say not to for the negative forms, okay? So not to bring my book, same thing. Okay, let's write some examples. You're going to convert it to the indirect form, okay? But together we can work on the imperative request. So let's send messages, all right? Carlos, can you send a message to one of your classmates? So tell me the name and the message, okay? Go ahead. Carlos de Leon. Uh, yes, I'm on it. All right. So tell me the name of one of your classmates in an imperative. 
Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Can you tell uh, Juan Francisco? This form, this form, Carlos. So we're going to say Francisco, comma. Mm -hmm. What's the message? Francisco, Negative or affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Mm -hmm. okay, could, you, could you please bring my book or send a picture? I'm sorry. Please send a, send the class picture. All right. The class picture. Yep. Very good. Now, anybody, Wilbur, Cindy, help me out because we're going to convert them later. Go ahead. Okay. In general, students uh, that can't lose the class tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow's class. <laughs> yep. <laughs> a message in general. <laughs> that sounded like a logistical <laughs> announcement. What's going on tomorrow? <laughs> I'm not aware. <laughs> no, I think, seriously, I think tonight, I'm not sure, but most likely tomorrow we're going to do the midterm. So, yeah, you shouldn't, you wouldn't want to be absent because we're going to check that everything is right. So, I think you kind of knew. <laughs> All right, um, Jose Cornejo, Inmar, Cindy, help me out. Quickly, guys, think of an example. I need six examples so that we can start. John, open the window. Very good. You learn to read, maybe? Who are you sending that message to? We don't have anybody? Okay, we're gonna say, hey, Daniel. I don't know who Daniel is. Please learn to read. Carlos is going to have a party tomorrow. Ah. You know, that would be the statement. That would be an statement, but right now we're gonna practice imperatives only. So let's say a message about the party. So Carlos, comma, don't forget the drinks. Okay, I'm not talking about a specific drink, guys. So it's just like don't forget the drinks, okay? For the party. Right. <laughs> and then we're gonna say tell uh, your family, okay. Please remain silent during class. We're gonna send a message to your families, guys. It's a very <laughs> polite one, so. All right, so I would like you to work in pairs and you know what you have to do, right? I need the infinitive form of the indirect message, okay? I'll take a picture of this and to a group. Do you have questions? No? No. Okay. So use this as an example. Let's work on it. And let me create. Hold on. So there. Accept the invitation. Let's do them. Everyone accept. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you want to start? 
Yes. Francisco, okay. please send the class picture. The sentences. Not to be in my book. So in that order. Yeah, yeah, Shall we not bring me? Who wants to start? Maybe the first one. Can you tell Francisco to send the pic the class pictures without the please? I think. Uh yeah. I Maybe you, can you tell Francisco to send the class pictures? Yeah, Maybe with the place of class. Right. Could okay. you tell the students? Could I tell, tell the students? Students. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, to me. not about you were talking. <laughs> okay. We are four. I think we, we are mm -hmm. Imar and also I think it's the teacher. Yeah. Yeah, is it teacher? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. In the second, second one. Uh, the picture is some um, WhatsApp group. Okay. Imperative and infinitive. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm mostly interested in the negative forms because I saw, well, I heard some of you making a mistake when you conjugated it. So what answer do you have for this one, Juan Francisco? Or what conjugation did you write? Okay, for this example, can you tell the students not to miss tomorrow's class? Right, make sure you're saying not to miss, okay. Not to Very miss. Good. Yep, what about this one, um, Raul Montoya?
Raúl. Eh, could you tell Carlos not to forget the drinks? Very good. So is this, is it clear? I, I have a question. Go ahead. About the example with the students. How do you say it? Can you tell the students or can you tell students? That's it. Or do you, you need to the students? This? Sorry? Like this. Can you tell the students? You know why? The because students. we mm -hmm. are talking about a specific group of students, not like students in the world. It's but like a person. Your like, classmates. Uh -huh. So since it's very specific, you say the students. Okay, and with the other examples where we are using the word please, this word is before the verb or at the end? Or um, we were not sure. It depends. I know, I, I heard you. So if you say it at the end, you're saying please to the person you're speaking with. So it's like, hey, Glenda, can you la 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 please? So I'm saying please to you. Okay, if I put it at the end, but if I want to include please in my message, <laughs> I would have to say, can you tell the student a to, where is it? Can you tell Sean to please bring my book? So right there. So it's between the word to and the verb. Yep. Okay, thank you. But that wouldn't be common. That's like, this is like a parenthesis, kind of. It's like a comma. Can you tell him to please do this? Mm, I would prefer if you put it at the end. Anyway, if you really want to put it in the message, it will be here, like additional information. Okay. Can I say, can you tell Sean, and please, and the final of the sentence? If you say it at the end of the sentence, yes. It could be, it depends on how you say it. you will be telling the person because you're asking the person a favor. Uh, it's either included in the message or it's for the person you're speaking with. So anyway, I would advise you to use it at the end because you're saying please to, to John and to the person who is sending the message, right? So say it at the end, it's better. You're gonna sound more polite anyway. So put it at the end. Thank you. Now, um, this is something we practice with the group, but I know I have more new students than old students, so we're going to review it, okay? Now, this is how to ask a yes-no question. Um, yes-no questions. So it's pretty simple, all right? This is going to be the structure. It's a weird structure, but it is applicable for everything. So if you notice on the video, you can only see uh, examples with the present simple form. But I want you to learn how to do this in all tenses. So you can either do it in the future, with modals, in the past, and it's exactly the same. So you can learn this at once, okay? So you're going to use the expression, and then you're going to use if or whether. And then you're going to use the statement. Statement. And the statement can be affirmative or negative okay you will see how this works but this is the structure right so what kind of expressions do we use when we're using the indirect form we use things like can you tell right we use things like can you ask okay you, you can say for example do you know so any expression to use the indirect question to write and you also sound more polite. Okay, then simply use if or whether, right? And here's your message. It's no longer going to be a question because it's not a, it's not a direct question. For example, this is what we did. In the present form, so pay attention to this. Forget about indirect questions for a second. So, Tell me an affirmative sentence in the present simple form. The... I drink water every day. Okay, good. I drink water every day. Very good. That works. 
Okay, negative sentence in the present simple form. I don't, I don't play water. Water. I don't play soccer. Let's, I don't just play soccer. Let's say she, she what? She doesn't play video games. She doesn't play video games. All right, that works. Video games. Okay, now let's say something in the past. We can say this in the past. What's the past of this sentence? I drank water every day. Okay, mm -hmm. I drank water every day. And we will leave it like that, all right? Now, what would this be in the future form? I will drink. We're going to say she, all right? She drank water. Future? She will drink water. Okay, present perfect. I am drinking. She has drunk water. She has drunk water. She has drunk water. Uh -huh. she has drunk drunk water. water. Very good. All right, so it's simple like that, right? If I want to ask the question, hey, did she drink water? But I want to be nice. I would say, can you ask? her okay if and look this is what i will do if copy paste it look at this so can you ask her if she drank water okay. yeah, i have a question mm -hmm. it is not she is drinking no why why would it be she drinking because drunk is not part simple and this is present perfect. Yeah, this is past participle. It is. But the structure is called present perfect. The other one is present continuous. Which one is present continuous? I don't see it. The one he's saying uh, that she's drinking. Ah, yeah, that would be present continuous. Okay, well, guys, look. The, the, here's the thing. This is the point. Uh, these examples are sentences, right? They are statements in the affirmative or negative form. So when you want to use, an, when you want to ask an indirect question, this is what you're gonna use, not the structure of a question anymore, all right? So can you ask her if she drank water? Do you know if she will drink water? Okay. So look, this part yeah, right here is case. not a question. Mm -hmm. So we don't use the question mark? Yeah, you use it. It depends. It depends on what you're saying. In this case, since this is a question, do you know that's a question? You do use the question mark. This is also a question, so you are going to use a question mark. But your question is at the beginning, not here. Okay. But, for example, in this case, you wouldn't use it, Amy, if you say, I don't know if she drank water. I wouldn't use the question mark and it's still the same structure. So my expression is this. Yes. In that case, I wouldn't use it. Right. So okay. don't use the structure of a question, except in the expression if you want it. Okay. Now, how do we do a WH question? All right. It's going to be the same, basically. So you will use the expression plus wh instead of if or whether okay that is the only difference and then the statement so that is the only difference and the reason why i'm making it somewhat complicated is because you can use the structure for everything in any tense okay so um let's see my question would be for example hold on my question would be, where does she live? All right, what is the answer, guys? Where does she live? What's the answer? She lives in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. So look, she lives in San Salvador. This is a question, and what is this? Uh, that's the answer. Exactly. 
Well, that's a statement, it's not a question. So my question here is going to be, um, do you know, how do I finish that? Do you know? Do you know? Where does she, where she live? live? Where she lives? Where does she live? Where does she lives? Where okay. she lives? Okay, look, look, we're good so far, right? Do you know? Okay, expression. W H where? I need a statement, not a question. So what am I going to say? As where she lives? Guys, okay, a sentence she lives. formed by a subject. All right, just to make this clear, by a subject plus a verb. Okay. This is a statement, right? So, do you know where she lives? Very good. Does she live? Where she lives, like this. This is the one. Can she use does? Nope, not anymore no. because we're using a statement. Okay. Right. How do you form a sentence? Subject, verb. Complement, right? Okay, another one. Now let's say it in the past. Okay, my question will be where did she live? All right, how do I say that using do you know? Do you know where she lived? Do you know where she, she lived? Now it's in the past. Lived. Very good. Lived. All right. Let me see. When is she going to come? All right. How do I say that here? Do you know? What's my WH question? When? 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 Now I need, look, subject. And, and you need a statement, right? So you need a sentence. What do you say? She's going to come. She's going to come. Very good. She, she is. is going to come. So if you notice, look at this. If you notice, this is affirmative, right? It's like a sentence in the affirmative form. She is going to come tomorrow. Okay. She lived in Nicaragua. Or she lived in El Salvador and then moved to what to Nicaragua. You know who that is, right? She lives. It's like a sentence, all right. Uh, is this clear? Sort of. Forget about the questions in indirect questions. That's what you have to do. Okay, maybe with practice it would be easier, but do you think you're ready to practice or you need more examples? I think a few more examples, please. Okay. Example, okay, great. Uh, another question would be, this is one of the confusing ones, so uh, I can ask, where is the bank? Okay, this is the question, but when I modify it, how would I say this? Do you know where the, where bank, the is? bank is? Right, could you tell me? We can say an expression. Where the bank is. So not where is the bank, but where the bank is. Um, another example. I would ask you something in the past. Okay. Tell me an expression. Did you know? Could, Could you tell me you know why, why the children, the children live? live? Right. Could you tell me why the children, the children left? Yep. Left. Left. It is. You have to use question mark. Here you're going to use question mark, here two, and here two because you have a question here at the beginning. Basically, guys, you cannot have two questions in one question, all right? So if you already have a question here, you cannot say it here. That can't happen. Let's practice. Let me see. 
Okay, here you have the direct question, why did she cry? I will help you with the first one, the rest of them you're gonna do together, okay? So number one, why did she cry? What is the direct one? Can you tell me why she cries? She cried. She cried. Uh, can you tell me why, why she cries? She cried. She cried in the past. She cried. She cried. In the past tense. Yeah, very good. Can you tell me why she cried? Very good. You already have the expression WH and she cried, the sentence. Okay, you're going to do the rest of it with your classmates. I will let you do it in groups of, of three in case somebody doesn't know. Maybe one of the three will. If you need help and I'm not in your group, eh, send me a message. Okay, so I can see it, but not through WhatsApp here, through Zoom. All right, I will send you the link right now through Zoom here. Did you get it? So open the link. I'm also going to try to send it to WhatsApp so you can practice. Open that link. Let's do exercise in groups of three. Okay, ready? Ready. Great. One second. Three, four. Three. Okay. There it is. Accept it, please. Let's work. If you need me, send me a message, okay? But I will try to go around anyway. So, here. Sent. Speak. Does she speak Greek? I'd like to know if she speak Greek. Let me see. It's wrong. Um, Maybe if she speaks Greek, because, yeah, because it's a present. It's a present. Uh -huh. And it's a present. Yes, it right? speaks. Very good. With letter S. Okay. No. No. What happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can think you're not through WhatsApp. My phone died. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The next one, Celia. <laughs> Do you have any idea what time, no, do you have any idea when does the show start, no, when the no, show what, starts? What time, what time the show starts? What time will start? the show will start? start. That's the one. What time the and show how are you going to conjugate the verb? Uh, start. Can you spell that? Starts, no? With it starts S like in third person or uh -huh. yeah, S -T -A -R -T -S. I didn't hear the S. <laughs> That's oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, but with right. letter S. Starts. Okay. Right. Very good. Thank you. Starts. Okay. Do mm. it the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, the second one is does does she speak Greek? Mm. Uh, I wonder. I have doubt about the will. Mm, me too. Me too. <laughs> Maybe 
I just thinking, I don't know, when the show starts, could be? Um, yeah, could that be. is good. It is right because it's present simple. Present simple, okay. perfect. Yeah, so you have mm. doubts about what? That one? The next one? The, 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 that one, the, do you have any idea when the shows? No, I was telling that could be will start. Will no, start. No, it's present simple, so start. But guys, the WH question is not when. It's what time? What time? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thanks. Yes. Yes, I think. Yes. Okay. Which W H, right? Yes. Yes. H I C H. Okay. Yep. Yes. Um. The next one. When will they get married? I wonder when they get married. I wonder when they will get married. Uh huh. When they will get married. Uh huh. And um, the the previous mm -hmm. one you have is this the right train? What question did you write? Uh, oh, I said, do you have an idea which is the right, the train? right train? Oh yeah, but this is a yes no question, so you're gonna use if. Or weather. Oh, okay. Oh. Do you have any idea? If this is the right train. Uh -huh, exactly. If this is the right train. Yep. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um. Could you tell? Could, could you let me know? Who's? Um. Who's um was it, it who's it who's it, it car was was okay but wait remember yeah. no it's who's, wrong no who's is the double yes. word right no. ah okay whose car was starting uh -huh, with the subject so car is the next word okay Who's car was? Who's car was? Cars. Was it? No. No. Who's? Okay. Is who's? Okay. Um. She know. She has known him. I like to know how long she has known him. Perfect. Very good. How long she has yes. know him? 
Known. Okay. Known him. No him. Okay. With N. No. Uh huh. N. Right at the end. N. Known. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi. What her name is? Yes. Teacher, we have a question about when will they get married? Uh, we said, I wonder when they will get married. If the get married is always said get married or get married. No, the verb is get. So you're saying will um, get. Married is a compliment. Married and are we going to write the word like just like that? Yes, because the verb you have to respect is get, not married. So you will say will okay. get, and then the rest of it you don't pay attention to it. So it's oh, okay. the way it is. Mm -hmm. We have a question. I was wondering. Um, you babysit tonight. What is babysit? Remember, babysit is when you go and take care of. So some. Yeah. Um, yeah, but remember that yes, no question. You're gonna use if or whether. Yeah. Uh, could you babysit? I was wondering if if you babysit tonight. It's okay. Mm -hmm. No, I, I feel like you're missing something. Is there an auxiliary? Uh, boxes. Boxes where? Sorry, guys. Where? Got a question? Why? Uh, yes. With this example, can you babysit tonight? And we answer. I was wondering if you could babysit tonight. Yes, that's the one. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank you. Sure. Okay, the last one. Do you know countries which countries she visit? Do you, Do you the, know which, which countries she visited? She visited. Her. Do you know? Do you know? Which, which, which countries she visited? Okay, here we are. Carlos, I didn't see you in the in the groups. So I was trying to find everyone. I think I didn't go to your group or something happened. Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so the majority of you were doing a great job. I'm surprised. Do you have questions about any of them? Did you have any mistakes? Yes, we have three mistakes. Where? Uh, the first one uh, is in the will they be all, all right? I think it's the one, two, three, four, the five. What did you write? We write, I wonder if they be all right. Uh, ah. Uh, I wonder if they be all right. Well, I'm going to show all the answers. Um, it's not showing me anything. Uh -huh, so if they will Sorry? be all right. Oh, here it is. Okay, what else? Oh, it's not showing me anything. Did you have difficulty with any of them? Where Joey is, where right, we have the answer here. But which one was difficult? Present perfect, simple, past was there one in specific that was difficult for you no no okay all sentences was were easy were easy they were easy for you that's great <laughs> yeah if you notice in the video we're only studying look at this this is only imperative right uh, present simple and this is Present simple and modal. So right now, 
you learned how to form indirect questions in all tenses, no matter what the tense is. So I'm surprised that you got it so quickly because you learned it fast. That's awesome. Okay, so you're not limited to this. Mm, I don't think we should study this anyway because we already, we just did it. So we don't need to study this. Let me see. Maybe we're gonna just go straight to exercise and finish with that. Okay, anyway, do you have questions? No? No, teacher. No. Not question, by... but, but, but I, I, I really need to practice. Yeah, we have to keep practicing this. Uh, let's do the exercise. So it's section 3.12. I didn't show you the three videos because it's going to be the same. All right. And with less information than the one I gave you. Uh, let's do this together. There are only four, but this will finish. So re read the instructions, please. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead. Glenda? Okay. We write the sentences as a direct request. In other words, ask someone to deliver the message for you. Only complete the missing words. I'm sorry, I have the screen. And make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. Okay. So the first one, what would it be? Can can you ask Tony how many friends I can bring to his body? Can can you? It's probably could you ask, right? Could could you ask? Could you ask Tony, Tony how many friends how many I can, friends bring can bring to his party? Very good. All right, number two, Leila. Could you ask Sophia if if uh, if she, if she is good? Yeah, you're doing well. If she if she is coming to the party with Jeff with Jeff like this. Mm. But this, look, look at the sentence. Going. Are you going to the party? So if she is going, going, right, to the party with Jeff. Very good. Three. Juan Francisco. Mm, can you ask Kevin whether or not he accepted the invitation? Could you ask Kevin? Very good. Karina? Ask Mario. Yeah, you do it based on this one. Kind of confusing how okay. it is. Yeah. Teacher, maybe uh -huh. it's missing one letter in the number three. Cool. Uh, yeah, Are yeah, you yeah, to yeah. miss yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. If, uh -huh. if Mario is no, going if to he, give, if he is going to give, a, he's going to give a. Tony, I guess. No, if he is going to give Tony a, a gift. gift. Right. Okay, this has to be right. What happened with the last one? If the last he one is yes. us. To put the words miss, what? not the complete sentence. Could you ask Mario if he is going to give Tony a Maybe the question, the question work. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Do you want to see the answers or have you done this? Well, in case you need the answers, they're here. All right. Could you ask that's the answer? 
if she is going to the party. Right, take the entry. So um, tomorrow we're gonna do a midterm, okay? What I need you to do is to take it before class so that you don't do it with me and with me. I mean, we're gonna do it together, but you can review it in case there is anything wrong or there's something you don't understand, all right? But try to take it before class, that's the midterm. Any questions? There is a test, teacher? Yeah, there is one, a midterm after you finish section. And where do I find it? You just go forward. At the end of section three, there is a midterm that you have to complete. So oh, okay. I think it's right after Complete this. tomorrow during class. No, I prefer if you do it on your own and with me, I'm going to do it, but just to make sure every, you see it's right after here. After that topic, you have the midterm. It's here. Oh, the midterm. Yep. This is the test. So do it before class. I will also do it in class to make sure everyone has the answers. Okay. But anyway, before we do the midterm, we're going to finish practicing indirect questions because I know you need to practice more and especially you need to practice speaking using them. So we're going to do that part tomorrow, okay? Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, do we need to give answers to all the videos of the platform or only the ones who ask me for it? You mean under the videos? No, you don't need to write them. Mm -mm. No? Okay. No, no, no. You don't Thank have you. to. And since you're in class, that's okay. I mean. okay. All right, guys. So please do the midterm tonight or tomorrow before class. And I will see you for it. And we'll check the answers and we'll practice tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you, Thank you. Okay. I hope Thank you have a beautiful you. night. Take care. Mm -hmm. You too. Bye. 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 Bye.